Hey, Facebook, how you doing? It's Derek Butts and Keisha Barnett. How y'all doing? So, of course, we're here with the Solutions Tour. Yes. 2019, episode number one, Facebook style. Hey, if you're listening in, won't you comment below? Let us know where you're listening from. Are, have you got your tickets yet? I think that's the most important thing we need to talk about. Right. <laughs> you guys, if you haven't gotten your tickets, listen, go ahead and get click the link get and get your tickets. Please Don't do. wait for the last minute. Right. This is a great investment for you and your life. Yeah. So Keisha, we've been coming to Bar Louie, just hanging out here, recording some stuff, mm -hmm. getting ready. We want to make sure we really understand the place that we're going to be at. Right. So, hey, a couple questions have come in this week from your show. It's been hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're starting to get so many more viewers to even talking about this. So. Why don't we just it. answer one right here on Facebook for the people that are listening in? Yeah, and I want to say, listen, if you have any questions out there, go ahead, send them in. Don't be afraid to. But the first one, um, this is an Instagram, Instagram question. Okay. How can I maximize my time wearing multiple hats? Derek, wow. you know, people across the board, business owners, housewives, everybody yeah. are wearing multiple hats. How can they maximize their time? First thing I want to say, though, is... We salute you yeah, yeah. because we do realize that in the course of it, I mean, we're sitting here, I told you it's live, like, I mean, there's plates. So that's kind of like multiple hats, multiple plates. You got so many things on your mm -hmm. plate and sometimes you can get overwhelmed. Yeah. So I think one of the first things I want to say to that person is you got to evaluate the plates. Ooh, that's right? good. I got to make sure that what I'm putting on the plate I actually need to put on the plate. Right. Oh, that's that's a good one. Yeah. So, because there's time from time to time we can get caught into what routines mm -hmm. that we're doing the same thing over and over because we've always done it, and we've heard the definition of insanity is if we continue to do the same, same things thing. we've always done, you'll keep receiving the same, same things you always receive. Yeah. So I want you to evaluate, right? Evaluate what's on your plate. Mm -hmm. What else? You know what, I would say really utilize the help that you have around you. Because oftentimes, you know, with the stuff, and, I, and I'm pretty sure you're going to get into this, even on the list of, like you said, things that they may not necessarily need or things that you can just delegate out to other people to do. Yeah, that's good. So let's stay there for a second, though, because mm -hmm. that's a very valuable point. Sometimes we have help, but our pride doesn't let us access mm. the help. Or Derek, what about this though? I think sometimes people are just busy. They're mentally kind of bogged down that they don't even think to ask yeah. for the help. Or you ask that, or you ask the help too late, where the help feels like you're dumping on them instead of delegating. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. there's a difference, right? Yeah. So utilize the help that's out there, that's around you, because people really like to help. They I really know do. there's that that syndrome in people that we want to feel like heroes mm -hmm. and we want to know that we can add value to your life so sometimes just humble yourself ask people for your for the help that they need yeah so I think the, the other point that I would make even on this one though because it's such a great question is I want to challenge you to go back and look at the R's of your life if you've ever been listening to us we talk about the three R's what's required of you uh, yeah I found out sometimes I'm doing things that's that's not required of me, uh -huh. and I shouldn't be doing them. Uh -huh. You know, if, if you're in the home, maybe your kids can put the clothes in the laundry, and why are you still doing it? Right. So if it's something that you can teach, teach it, uh -huh. release it. You don't have to do it all. So whoever's out there, some people are control freaks. Yes, they are. That they feel as if <laughs> you won't let it go because no one else can do it as good as you. So I want to challenge you first, what's required of you? Good. I was getting oh, ready to say too. Jump now in. listen, listen. And then some stuff like you don't actually have to do it that day. Mm, yeah, you can plan it. Yeah. You know what it. I mean? Yeah. You, you know, if it's not like required or at the top of the list, like somebody's not going to make it today, mm -hmm. that type of top priority, then it doesn't have to be done that day. Yeah. So while we're on that topic, make sure that in the course of it, don't enable people by always feeling that your answer has to be yes. Some of the stuff that gets on your plates because you should have said no, but the people pleasing syndrome inside of you said yes when you should have said no. If it's not in your wheelhouse and it's not for you to do, it may be sometimes that you're enabling people to, to, to stay in their place because you keep taking on the uh, stuff on their plate, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. So what's required? Second thing I would tell you is, what gives you the greatest return 
What gives you the greatest return? Yeah. Everything that I do does not yield me a great return. Right. So some stuff I need to look at and say, when I do this task, it doesn't do anything for me. Right. Maybe I can eliminate that. Yeah. Right? So I really want you to challenge, I'm gonna challenge you with this. So I want to tell you this. I want you to write down everything on your list. Just write everything that comes to your mind on your list. Brain dump. Brain dump, put it on your list. That's called your to-do list. Just because you wrote it first doesn't mean it's the first thing that's supposed to be there. It's right. just your first thought. Yeah. That's, that's all. That's the reason why I got there first. Now, in the midst of your list, ask yourself this question. Is it a should do or a could do? No, oh, should or could. Right? Mm -hmm. If it's a should do, move it to the right side and make a new list. That's going to be your success list. Mm -hmm. Like, I got to get this done list. Okay. Okay? So should do or could do? Once you get your could, your, your should do's and your could do separated, do your should do's, do them, and blame your could do's. <laughs> All right, so there you have it, guys. January 1st, 2019, Bar Louis, 6 p.m. Click the link below. You're going to get solutions just like that. Practical things that you can apply to your life. To your life. Facebook, we're out. Man, follow get your us. Ticket. Kanish Unlimited assist you to win follow us and make sure that you get you a ticket hey and go share this post somebody else needs this information too bye, bye.